don't come to Wales. That's the message to millions of English, Scottish and Northern Irish people living in high-risk areas. First Minister Mark Drakeford says the new measures are needed to stop the virus spreading west. The Prime Minister has been received in reply to my request. I have therefore asked for the necessary work to be brought forward, which would allow for devolved powers to be used to, pre to prevent people from travelling into Wales from high prevalence areas of the United Kingdom. Much of Wales is already under local restrictions. In Rill, which in better times welcomes huge numbers of tourists, local people were pleased with the new regulations. I think a lot of this second wave that we've got might have been down to the Tories coming in from the hotspots. I've got family in Manchester in the hotspots and they were coming up here. So even though I've got family there, I think it's a good thing, yeah. If you're on lockdown, you should be staying in your own area. I can't understand why Boris Johnson has not said stop in your own area. I've got a young daughter that lives in Warrington who comes up pretty regular to see us. Um, and now we can't see them, so I'm not going to get to see my grandchildren. And, and in some ways, it's a good thing because we need to get control of it. There is certainly politics going on here too. The Welsh government says it was forced to act after Prime Minister Boris Johnson didn't make travel guidance in COVID hotspots like Liverpool, where the virus is surging, mandatory. One of the things this pandemic has done is reveal and exacerbate the tensions between the centre, Westminster and the rest of the union. Other nations, as we're seeing in Wales again, are going their own way. And it may be that when the dust has settled, the forces of devolution are a catalyst for further change. At times, it's felt like the union may be coming apart at the seams. Nicola Sturgeon denies using her daily briefing as a platform to play the independence card. But her handling of the pandemic has bolstered the yes camp. <laughs> Scots, planning on visiting Blackpool this weekend, have now been warned not to after nearly 200 cases north of the border were linked to the town. It's not possible to be absolutely certain where somebody actually picked up the virus. But Blackpool is being mentioned in test and protect conversations far more than any other location outside of Scotland. That is the view from Scotland, but at this bed and breakfast in Blackpool, they're taking no chances or bookings. Some of the people that come from Scotland are really irresponsible and they won't social distance no matter how much you tell them. And uh, so it's quite a worry for us because, like, it's our town and we don't want the infection here. Great Britain is now a patchwork of different approaches to COVID-19. Wales will bring its new measures into force by the end of the week, but the UK has never appeared more separated. Alex Rossi, Sky News, North Wales.